I'd like to uh, sort of follow up on the, on the previous discussion and, and say that um, technology is, is the solution. And the way to solve it is really to accelerate the implementation and adoption uh, of technology. Um, when you come to our practice, um, you can check in at the kiosk. Uh, the kiosk might ask you uh, if you would like to schedule a colonoscopy or mammography because we don't have uh, a recent uh, mammogram, uh, mammogram or uh, colonoscopy uh, based upon your age and uh, the information that's in your electronic health record. Um, we actually are working with EMS to develop, uh, not to develop, but to, to implement sending EKGs to the cardiologist while the patient is on the way to the hospital. We're also working with the DC government uh, to give cell phones to people that uh, do not have financial means to, to own a dumb phone uh, or a smartphone um, so that they can send in, you know, what are their weights if they're in heart failure so that we can have early intervention to eliminate an unnecessary hospitalization. If they have diabetes, to send in their A1Cs so that we can, again, early intervention to eliminate the unnecessary hospitalization is the easiest way to eliminate the, the cost in the system. Um, it's my belief that as healthcare continues to be transformed, um, technology is going to enable it. But what's going to happen is that groups like ours are going to get much bigger. And I think that uh, you know, it's very difficult for a physician group on K Street to go out and, and get the technology that we have. We spend two and a half million dollars on software um, maintenance a year on the practice management side as well as on the electronic health record side. Um, and that's a, a real significant cost, but it eliminates a lot of cost from us. When we implemented, and I will say we are an all scripts client, a happy all scripts client. Um, actually, a very happy all scripts client. Uh, when am I going to be a beta for Wombat so that physicians can use an iPad when they go around and see patients in the hospital? Um, I know it's at the end of the second quarter, but you know what? <coughs> Uh, we have people that want to use the technology, and they've adopted it. Um, we have this new product called Follow My Health, and Follow My Health allows us to send data on cloud-based technology um, up into an individual's personal health record. They can request their physician to, to send a prescription to their pharmacy, which we have on file, because when they checked in on the kiosk, they said they like to go to the CVS in Oakton. We have the ability to send notes to the physicians and say, you know, I took this new medication and I have an upset stomach. I, I feel a little irritated. What should I do? So the technology is going to continue to transform. And I believe that connected communities uh, is a real challenge. Uh, it's a challenge for the small practices. It's not a challenge for the big health systems. It's not a challenge for Kaiser. It's not a challenge for... Um, you know, University of Pittsburgh. It's not a challenge for our physician group, but it is a challenge for most physicians across the country. We have grown from 200 physicians back in 99. Um, we actually now have um, over 600. Uh, we will have over 1,000 physicians in, uh, in the next two to three years. And I expect that we'll have 1,500 physicians within the next five to seven years. And this technology is going to enable them to deliver better care at a lower cost and eliminate unnecessary waste in the system. When we implemented the system, the Department of Medicine, which is one of the departments that we have, eliminated 30 people that were doing nothing but processing and handling medical records. It's crazy in today's society that all of you that see Physicians outside of our group, and I'd like a list of you because I'd like to talk to you about what you're doing wrong. But all of you, I mean, you go to a bank, um, you don't write paper checks, go into the bank to make a deposit, go into the bank to get a withdrawal, and then do a paper reconciliation on your little register in your checkbook. Your health care is so much more important. Why would you go to a physician office where 
they may or may not have your lab results. And if they did, how do you know they reviewed it? I can tell you how many seconds any physician or member of, this, of the staff was on any piece of data in the electronic health record. I can tell you when the lab went out, I can tell you when the lab got back, and I can tell you the disposition and the communication to the patient. You can't do that in a paper environment. We talk about HIPAA. How do you know who's looked at a paper record? I can tell you every page that was looked at by how many seconds people were on it. And we fired people for looking at things that they don't deserve looking at. So, again, I would encourage all of you to support the adoption of the acceleration of the consolidation in healthcare, which will accelerate the technology in healthcare, which will drive costs out of the system and improve healthcare.